This one's a curiosity for Bibliophile. It's one of the only records we have of the lost great country estates when they were at their zenith. It chronicles 20 of England's sadly lost estates, telling the history of aristocratic dynasties that founded them, explaining the mercantile and economic circumstances, and then very rare previously unpublished photographs from the interiors and exteriors showing the architecture, grounds and gardens, sculpture, arboretums and layouts, and the huge workforces that kept these big houses and estates ticking over and preserved. This is Lady, and then that's Sir Al Algernon Osborne's, Osborne's study, and this is Lady Osborne's sitting room. Typical melange of Victorian clutter. From Beaudesert in Staffordshire to Whitley Court in Worcestershire, they've all gone. Is Biddleston in Northumberland. Nothing survives of Walter Scott's druidical oaks or the romantic picturesque planting, but we do get an idea from this rather scrummy book, which was published at £30, but through bibliophilebooks.com. Felling the Ancient Oaks by John Martin Robinson is just £11. 